I am PhD. Uh, I am surgeon, of course, and also I teach students. I started uh, teach students in 1996 oh when God. I was cardinal priest. Education in Russia is not uh, expensive. What do you think about other Russian universities? Like they all are almost. I finished my class and right now I'm sitting here with my teacher. So let me introduce my surgery teacher. Hello sir. Hello. Can you introduce yourself to my viewers? Okay, my, sir, my first name is Yusur, my first, second name is Fathudinov. I teach student at uh, Kazan Federal University in the Department of Surgery. I am PhD, uh, I am surgeon of course and also I teach students. Okay, so sir, so basically you are teaching here and what about your other job? Like you are just a teacher or you are working as a surgeon too? Our subject, our subject is surgery. It means we need to be doctors and mm -hmm. we need to be teacher too. That's why at first I get education mm -hmm. in the university. Then I had a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a lot of experience and then I start to teach students. So from how long you are teaching here? Uh, I started uh, teach student in 1996 oh when God. I was ordinary priest, yes. uh, and then I continued my education. I I had um, aspirantura, and then I take um, PhD, mm -hmm. and uh, I teach student uh, for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. And what do you think? Like, is it good to study in Russia? What do you think? It's a good choice for foreign students because education in Russia is not uh, expensive, it's mm -hmm. cheap enough. That's why if you want to be a doctor, it's okay because it depends on person. If you want to get uh, knowledge, education, skills, uh, you try. You try it and we have uh, a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. to get knowledge, to get uh, skills, etc. That's why if you want to be a doctor, we invite you. I invite you <laughs> in Russia. What do you think? The education quality is good, uh, almost good in everywhere, or what? In my opinion, I think in my opinion, uh, it's uh, the same situation in Russia. Of mm -hmm. course, we have uh, university in Moscow in mm -hmm. Saint Petersburg. Maybe they are better than our university. But if you want to get knowledge, uh, our university it is a good choice mm -hmm. because uh, we have libraries, we have uh, different uh, additional uh, opportunities. For example, night shift, for example, uh, research, you can uh, take uh, course worker mm -hmm. in our department and it means you get more, more knowledge, more, more skills. Okay, and sir, if anybody want to do practice, so what they can do, like apart from the classes, is it allowed for students to come to the hospital and do work whenever they want? Uh, as you know, our classes, uh, Contains what? Contains um, uh, practice, yes, uh, theoretical knowledge, test, and uh, you. I try to show you patients as you mm -hmm. know, yes? yes. That's why when we go to the department of surgery, uh, you can see patients, you can uh, get additional skills, I mean, palpation, auscultation, percussion, and you can discuss with patients. Better, better if you know little bit Russian, because mm -hmm. our patients unfortunately don't speak English. That's why if you know a little bit of Russian, it means you can connect with patient, you can mm -hmm. have a night shift and mm -hmm. connect with patient again, mm -hmm. and it means you get new knowledge, new skills. So it's not a problem, right? If me or any of my group mates want to come to the night shift and work, it, it's not a problem, it's right? Good. We can do. It's okay. It's allowed. Yes, it's fine. Okay. You know what other people think, like especially the foreigners, that in Russia the education quality is not good, they don't give uh, patient experiences and all, people don't visit patients, so they don't have good clinical exposures. People used to think in that way. I know, but as you know, I try. I try to help you, yes? Mm. That's why it depends on situation, but teacher, I agree, uh, some teacher is, uh, some teachers are okay, some teachers are. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, it depends, yes. But, uh, in my opinion, uh, more important, what students think about your education. Mm -hmm. he, uh, students, before visit 
Kazan, for example, you need to create some plants, yes, plants. Yes. First step, this one. Second step. And if you take, if you do it, it means you you can become good to this. And then good doctors. If you know additional languages, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, it will be Russian, it will be Tatar in our country, in our mm -hmm. place, in our area. I mean, it's okay. That's why um, uh, we try to give knowledge. We try to give you different resources, these links to get theoretical knowledge. But doctor means practice. Exactly. Knowledge, skills. Exactly. You know information, but mm -hmm. you need to use it in your practice. Exactly. I mean examination, I mean uh, treatment, etc. etc. Yes, if I won't go for the practice, then just by reading books, I won't no. apply. Like I won't be able to apply. You can uh, take practice here or in your country. Mm. It doesn't matter. You, it, it, um, it will be your real practice with patients, with other doctors. You uh, can uh, work with doctors, and uh, you can get advice from your colleagues. Yes, it will be more useful for you. Because our education six years, it's yes. enough. And then you continue your education, yes? Mm -hmm. You can get in our country we call it ordinator in your country we we call it uh, it's a bit different, but it means uh, different. Also doctors doctors uh, need to continue his education his education during his life. It's okay. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, I'm also but I continue my education. I try to check different uh, courses, yes, different conference and I visit it and I get new knowledge and then I use it in my practice. Of course, in our department, uh, all my colleagues work as a doctor, that way they have patients mm -hmm. yeah. and also we have students. We use our, uh, we work with patients and then we teach students. We have knowledge and we uh, spread our knowledge uh, between students. Yes. It's okay. Doctor, doctor. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, sir, for giving me your time. And uh, we are so lucky that we have such kind of teacher because he is really nice with us. And he teach. Uh, in my group, we have like three, four country, like different, different students. And he's treating us very good. He's taking us to the patient daily and asking us to do the different examination on the patient so that we can improve our skills. So thank you so much, sir. Thank you for giving your experience and knowledge to us.